Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday 124. My truth versus pure truth. Question. When I speak my truth, people seem to reject it or turn away from me. If it is truth, shouldn't people be able, be able to receive it? Expressing openly is important for freedom in our society. What is the difference between my opinion and my truth? How can I get people to receive me when I speak the truth? Okay, we have to get a few things clear here. Uh, from the yoga perspective, your truth actually means you're coming from your ego and you're coming from your mind because it's yours. And when you say yours or my truth, I'm separate from you. So even though truth may be a unity concept, but when you say my truth and it's furbishly coming from my truth, I have to express my truth because I've been wronged or I'm not understood or you know, so-and-so doesn't get me and, uh, or the world is doing this and the world is doing that and they don't know the other side or you don't know the other side and I have to speak my truth so that you get my side and so that we can all, and I can, re I can rest when you get my side. So there's a, a lot going on when you say my truth. Um, the problem with needing to speak your truth is that it's divisive. And even though, as I said, it seems like it should be unity, but anything to do with words and language and thoughts, it's gonna be divisive, especially when you have a lot of angst behind it or a lot of force behind it or a lot of hurt behind it or past trauma behind it. People don't know how to handle the, the, um, the energy that's coming from you when you say, I got to speak my truth. Um, because maybe you have been suppressed and it's been building up, building up, building up. And finally, you, need, you, 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 know, you think you're going to speak your truth. People are afraid of that aggressive energy that's there. People will feel like, well, you're not resonating with me. Um, so my truth versus their truth, they're feeling the division right away. So if you really want truth, that's a different thing altogether. Otherwise, it's called an opinion. And you ask, what's the difference between truth and opinion? Well, in this case, there's no difference. Your truth and your opinion is the same thing. It's coming from your mind. It's coming from information books you've read, the internet that you've been absorbed in. All of that is just information and a lot of vrittis, a lot of thoughts, more waves in your mind. And if you're going to express truth, remember that truth, pure truth, is not on the level of vritti. It's not on the level of the waves of your mind. Pure truth is at the source of those thoughts. So it comes in the form of stillness, silence, watching, accepting, appreciation, gratitude. The moment you open your mouth and you say, I'm going to speak my truth, right away you're going to offend somebody. And you're not doing yourself justice. If you really want to share truth with someone, then you need to be in the state of truth. And what that means is raise your frequency. That means do something of a yogic activity and then notice how your mind relaxes, your body relaxes, the energy has a, um, a place to, to channel and it's released in some other way. But pent up 
emotional and verbal and um, mental energies and coming out in the form of my truth is not going to create the sense that you want. What you want is unity and you want to live in that state. You want the space of truth is what you really want and that's what they want too when you're speaking. So it's better off that you do something that raises your frequency and puts you into a state of meditative, uh, a meditative state, a state of meditation where you are more slowed down, you feel good inside, you feel very expanded, you feel connected, you feel love in your heart. So pure truth is when you're sharing love. So don't speak your truth. That's not where we, that's not where you want to go. Because when you speak your truth, as I said, it's divisive. It divides, it separates. Words separate. Whereas watching, supporting, loving, understanding, the best thing you can do with someone that you want to speak truth with is go and share something um, beautiful, like dance with them, sing with them, go for a walk with them, enjoy nature together. Do something that will raise their frequency, raise your frequency, and then whatever you guys decide to speak about, it's going to be on a different frequency and not coming from the anger, the frustration of my truth has got to be heard by another. So my suggestion is don't speak your truth. Instead, be pure truth. Go to the source and sit in it. Emanate from that place. And what are you emanating? You're emanating love. For today's Wisdom Wednesday, and I'll see you next Wednesday.